Portia Williams from The Real Housewives of Atlanta is shaking things up by dating her castmates now ex-husband, very recent ex-husband, and even being engaged to him. Hello you guys, this is Sandra. Oh, let me show you guys my nails. Let's get into it. I'm gonna post you want a really nice shot of my nails you can look at it on my instagram which is stan just said what but um let's get into it so portia williams is definitely doing some trifling and less than commendable things on the real housewives of atlanta so if you don't watch the show um the all of the original cast is almost gone and now they've introduced this new character her name is fallon as portia's friend Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yes, Thank you for coming. And I see you laid it out for us. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that makes me want to get married all over again. Oh. I mean, it's gorgeous. Yes, it's gorgeous. we may just have to renew our vows. Ring upgrade. You know. Love it. The usual. Love it. And Fallon and her husband just got um just got divorced like a month ago. And now out of nowhere, Portia has announced that not only is she dating this man, she is engaged to this man. There's a lot of speculations that she might possibly be pregnant because she was wearing a big flowy dress and people are speculating that underneath that dress is that man's baby. Ay, 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 ay. This tea is too hot because there are so many things that I want to address with the situation starting with reality TV. Okay, so reality TV as we know is not real. People who are friends on the show may not be friends on life it may just be that she was introducing the character and so you know they got to find a segue into bringing the person in and they're like okay I'm gonna say that she's Portia's friend and she comes into the group and come into the mix and get to know everybody and so that's how this character is introduced and that's how Fallon I didn't watch season 10 honestly I have not watched no this is not season 10 I'm sorry I have not watched this season at all um I don't know, it's just not giving what it's supposed to give. So, Portia was the one to introduce Fallon to the group, as far as we know, right? And apparently Portia and her ex fiance Dennis, who have a child together, are friends with this guy. The guy's name is Simon. I can't pronounce his last name. <laughs> um, I don't really know his last name. That's how much I don't keep up with it. But it's just to me, Personally, I think it's very trifling and a lot of people are saying maybe it's a publicity stunt Maybe it's for show maybe Portia um, has a new business venture with the guy or you know Maybe they're faking it just for social media Here's my thing given that Portia introduced this girl and was in her house That's where she even met the guy um, the lady's now ex-husband given that you are in this woman's house I feel like you owe her a certain courtesy now I'm not going to say, oh, don't date anybody that um, dated somebody um, you know through somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. But I'm saying you were in this lady's house. It comes across to me as very vindictive, very manipulative, very calculating, and downright trifling. That's what it is. To um, be in someone's house, be in someone's personal space, hugging up on them, and the whole time, maybe she wasn't planning it. According to her, their relationship just started. She had nothing to do with their divorce. Um, his divorce voice um is finalized but baby you couldn't even let the ink dry on the paper start dating this man what i've observed is that i think portia really wants her wedding special by any means necessary okay she was already married when she first came on the show and got a really bad divorce and started dating people 
and she was engaged to Dennis after two seconds of knowing him and getting pregnant by him and having his child who kept cheating on her and so she still wanted her wedding special because those wedding specials you make a lot of money I think if you're on the show and you get married and your special is successful, they might even think of new ways and new things you can do. And as we know, Portia has been doing a lot of work with Bravo, not only um, Real Housewives, I think she also does like Bravo with chit chat or chat room or something like that. And I know she's involved in a lot of other different things, which is good for her. I am glad that she's seeking out any opportunity. But not all money is good money. People are saying this is a publicity stunt. If this is a publicity stunt, it still doesn't change the fact that this is trifling and downright low, to, low down and dirty. That's what it is. Because if that was you, divorce is hard. It, whether it was an easy divorce or a quick divorce, whether you're not married that long, you were intertwined in somebody's life. Just breaking up is hard, but divorce is especially harder. So it's a meme to whatever business venture Portia is working on whatever um, kind of show I think it's even now announced that she's supposed to get like a special or something like that whatever kind of money or opportunity comes with this it's not all money that's good money and I feel like I was really rooting for Portia because as we know when Portia came on the show she was saying really dumb shit and she has shown that she was less than I'm not going to say smart because I think she's very smart, but I would say informed. She was showing her ass throughout and throughout, and then she started growing. And her growth this, this season, I saw a couple episodes, I think it had to do like with a stripper or whatever, which we're going to get into. And this season, I think from the snippets on social media, I've really appreciated Portia's growth where she doesn't go back and forth with people. Um, she's not fighting like she used to try to do. She's not arguing with people like she was. She's not even going back and forth with people on social media, which they tend to do when like there's a new season every Sunday. There's a new episode. So they would go back and forth with each other based on what happened on the episode that, that day. So even recently, I think she went live. I set my butt down to watch the whole live because she was being accused by Kenya Moore that um, she did not want other people to be involved in the Black Lives Matter movement. And she got on live and was saying, look, this is too important and too significant for me not to say anything to let people have the wrong um, narrative about what's happening. And when she went, she addressed the situation. She gave the facts. And I was so proud of her I was so proud of her growth so to me it's really a slap in the face even when Kenya as we know Kenya has never liked Portia she's always had it out for Portia and Kenya even tries to um, use certain situations like the bolo situation to turn people against Portia now people are saying oh you guys should have listened to Por um, Kenya Kenya was right and you guys were writing for Portia on this bolo situation allegedly Portia um, slept with this stripper during um, Cynthia's bachelor party. A lot of people said they heard commotion. They can confirm or deny, but a lot of people are really just trying not to protect Portia's privacy or whatever and not say anything. But here's my thing. This does not give Kenya the right to say anything about Portia because Kenya is very mean-spirited and vindictive. That's how she is. She's man manipulative and calculating and she wants to use anything against Portia like the Bolo situation and everyone was sticking up for Portia. The main thing was Portia is grown. She's a single whether or not she was single, that's her business. You don't know the type of arrangement she have in her relationship. She is a grown woman who made a decision to do something so if she did that whether or not she did that that is not your business that's not your concern why are you so obsessed with trying to prove that this girl is such a horrible person and I don't think her sexuality or whatever she does has anything to do with the work that she does for Black Lives Matter which I have been so 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 proud of her for doing she was arrested several times while protesting on behalf of Breonna Taylor who was killed by the police while sleeping in her bed um, she's been doing a lot of active activism. Her grandfather is well known for doing a lot of work in that area. So in that respect, when I tell you I was so tremendously proud of Portia's growth and where she came and how she started from where she started to being now and 
this I think is a blatant slap in the face for Porsche's supporters this has nothing to do with Kenya it's a blatant disrespect for Porsche the people who were writing for her all these years who had such high hopes for her who had such high expectations for her okay so that's one of the things I wanted to address Second, I think I started with this one is jealous friends. You bring people into your house and they are looking at what you have. Your home is beautiful, thank you. And who's providing for you and how you're getting it. And they're cheering you on. Oh my god, girl, I love your house. Oh my god, your bowl is so beautiful. Oh my god. But deep down, they're envious. They're wanting this to be them in this situation. They're not rooting for you. They're rooting for wishing that they had this. They're only commending you because it seems like that's the thing to do. But deep down, they don't really care that you're living your life like this. They care that they would want this life for themselves. And that's what she's proven. She want, and Supposedly, this, this man is very wealthy and has provided a very great lifestyle for the now ex-wife and of course when Portia saw this and it's been rumored that Portia has always wanted somebody like that a rich African guy that could provide the lifestyle for her and she bolted to that again it could turn out that Portia is trolling because based on what I've seen on social media I'm like okay, okay this girl is trolling because she's responding to tweets to some degree, I do feel like Portia is trolling because of the way she's responding to these tweets. You know, just you can tell like when somebody's playing around. But even if she's playing around, I think what she did is very hurtful, especially to the now ex wife. And to, she's saying, oh, she was never my friend. We were never close like that. That may be, that very well may be the case. The case or not, it's still hurtful. It's still mean. It's still disrespectful. And it's still trifling. And, um, one other thing I want to address is people saying, oh, this is why you don't bring your friends around your man. This is why you don't, you know. To me, I don't like that at all. I don't like that saying at all because people are people. They're going to do what they want to do. They're going to um, condone behaviors they feel is appropriate. They're going to um, act out based on their character and their integrity. So to say, oh, don't bring people around your man because they're going to take your man. Nobody can take your man, okay? If your man is trifling and he gets the opportunity to be trifling, he will be trifling. If your man is not trifling, doesn't matter how many opportunities he gets. If he's respectful, even if this is your now ex, even if you guys have broken up, he's not going to disrespect you. He's not going to um, degrade you. Or if he's not trying to be vindictive, if he's not trying to <coughs> be vengeful, I don't think this is something that they will act on. So to say they don't, I'm not saying bring up any and everybody in your house. I'm very big on personal space. I do not want not near one body in my house. Okay, I do not like people in my space. That's me person personally. But to say that if we're supposed to be friends, I'm not saying you met somebody the other day and here they are all up in your house. And that's not to say that the person you've known 20 years plus is not going to do the same thing. But I'm saying is if I have a man and we're supposed to be friends and we're supposed to go places together, why shouldn't I be able to invite you to my house? Or if we're getting ready to go somewhere together, why should you not be able to come to my house? Or why should we not be able to sit and watch a movie together? That doesn't mean that is not friendship. So anything like that, where you have to be careful or be on the lookout, then first of all, you need to not have that many people in your circle that's starting there and second of all have people who are trustworthy even if they may appear so it may turn out that that's not the case but that just means they weren't trustworthy right so to say don't bring people around your man did you? stop all that hold people accountable for their behaviors Portia is doing what she's doing because she's trifling Simon is doing what he's doing because he's a clout chaser and he's trifling and he even went live to try to kind of like go in on the lady, kind of tarnish her name. You guys are divorced. I think they have children. This is the mother of your children. You don't need to be online and making um, videos about X, Y, and Z, what happened in your relationship. Just move on and let her move on. Live and let live, right? Even if she used you for money, I don't know what he was saying because I would not watch it. But to me, 
you know just beware of the kind of people you surround yourself with and um yeah i don't like that i don't like what Portia did at all i'm so disappointed i'm extremely disappointed for her um ex and she seems like like i said she does not care or trying to appear unbothered by saying i'm unbothered but yeah trifling and low down and dirty Portia williams girl i cannot anyway you guys let me know what you think of this video like comment share subscribe uh, let me know your thoughts do you think what Portia did was wrong or was she in the right maybe i'm tripping or you know is it okay to date your acquaintance i'm not gonna call her a friend your acquaintance's ex-husband is it okay are your ex-friends ex is it okay so let me know your thoughts in the comment don't forget to push that like button or down button don't matter either way if you like this video like it if you didn't like it thumbs down for it and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye